Hey guys, this time I'm going to show you how to change your Kinetico whole house pre-filter with getting as little water on the floor as possible because uh, a lot of times these units are installed in closets of mobile homes or maybe in a finished portion of the basement and you don't want to get the floor all wet. So first things first, you're going to come up here to your bypass and you're going to turn it to the 7 o'clock position. You will see yellow pop up. You just want to make sure that window is full of yellow. You can turn it either way, it really doesn't matter. It just depends on how the unit is plumbed in in your home. And then you're gonna look at these valves here on the front of the filter housing. You'll notice one should have a hose in it and one should not. Some of the older units did not come with two valves and unfortunately, you're gonna get some water on the floor if you have to change it. You may be able to go into your dealership, your Kinetico dealership and get another one of these for free. I personally used to hand them out all the time because it just makes it so much easier. So first things first, you're going to take the valve that has the hose attached to it, stick it in a bucket, and then you're going to turn it on. One little tricky thing about these valves, uh, the black part will spin a full 360, so you want to make sure you hold the black and just turn the gray. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to turn it on slowly since I don't have two hands. And the water should stop pretty quickly here. Notice it stopped already. So then you're going to come up here to the other valve and turn it on, and you should hear it suck in some air. Just like that. And you'll notice we have a steady stream of water coming out again. And now we're just going to wash this until it stops. It'll probably make a gurgling sound once it stops. And what we're doing now is just siphoning as much water as we can out of that filter housing. This should take, uh, I don't know, probably 20, 30 seconds, maybe. It really depends on just how clogged your filter is. Uh, general rule of thumb for maintenance on these filters uh, is roughly every four to six months. If you're on a well, you're probably gonna be more towards the four months. It's probably gonna gurgle here. Maybe not, there it is. And then if you're on a city water supply, you're gonna be more towards the six months. Uh, me personally, I'm on a city water supply, so this filter is probably not going to be this bad, but on some wells, this thing gets gunked up completely to the point where it actually uh, limits the water pressure inside the home. So now that we have all the water depressurized out of this filter housing, first thing I always like to do is turn these back off so I don't forget to whenever I put the new filter in. And this is a lot easier if you have two hands. I will try to do it one-handed, but we'll see. You just grab the filter wrench and pull it towards the wall. That's not no big deal. And then you can pull it down and unscrew the filter while you're holding the sump underneath of it. Uh, obviously I can't do that because I'm holding a camera. And this filter does screw up in there. There's a little nipple up right there that the filter actually screws on. Uh, this here is a washable filter from Kinetico, it's a 20 micron washable, that's what the blue means there. Uh, technically speaking, you could run this under a, like in a sink and just run your fingers up and down each one of these pleats to clean it. You will never get it totally white again and that's okay, as long as you don't tear the pleats, that's considered a good filter. I'm personally switching over to the disposable filters just because they're a little bit easier just to throw away. I'm just gonna open it real quick. Okay, so one thing you always want to do is to look down the center of the filter to make sure there is no silicone lubricant packets in there. This one is good, and like I said, this is the disposable filter. So to put it back up in there, you just line the center up with the center of the filter and turn to the right, and it will stop completely. I can't turn it anymore. And then... Go ahead and dump out the water that's inside your sump. And you'll notice that there's these little arrows all the way around the filter, that guy right there. And then you'll notice there's bigger arrows up here. So all you have to do is slide the sump up there and keep turning until those two arrows point at each other and it won't let you turn anymore. And then after that, 
just confirm one more time that your two valves are off and then you could take this and slowly turn it up to the green in service position uh it may jump and that's totally okay it's just locking itself in with the pressure so just slowly turn this okay so now you're in the service position and then go run some water somewhere and you'll probably get a burst of air out of it just like that and then you're all done uh, the next video I'm going to be uploading is going to be troubleshooting the unit if it is not pulling in any salt. So subscribe so you don't miss it.